Material master records contain all the data about materials that are procured, produced, stored, or sold at a company. There are over 200 possible fields available in the material master. For our purpose, we are going to look at how to create a raw material that can be procured. To do this, we are going to transaction code MM01. Press Enter. The first field we want to enter is material. This is what we are going to call the material. We are creating a bolt, so we call our material bolt 2023. Next is our industry sector. We will click the drop down and choose mechanic engineering. The next field is our material type. This is a raw material, so we will click in the field and type R for and choose raw materials. A big shortcut when we are creating a material that is similar to another material that already exists in our system is the copy from area. By entering the material we want to reference, most of the attributes of that material will be copied in. This can save a lot of input time. In this instance, we are creating from scratch, so we press continue button. This brings up the select view pop-up with the 29 views that can be create, created for this one raw material. In this demonstration, we are most interested in creating the material so we can purchase it and use it in production. So we will select basic data one, purchasing, and general plant data storage one, and click continue. That brings up the organizational levels pop-up screen. This defines where this material is being created. For plant, we will choose the match code button and choose plant MI00. And for storage location, we'll, we'll choose TJ00 raw materials. Now we'll press continue. We're now brought into create material screen. Now we have to enter the, the description field in our discussion, we will call this material socket head bolt 5 by 20 mm. Below in general data area, we'll enter our base unit of measure. As that is also required, the unit of measure varies depending on what we're selling. It could be inches or pounds. For our material, we will use EA for each. The next field is material group, which is used to group similar materials together. We'll click the match code button and choose raw for raw materials. Now we'll scroll down to the dimension area. These are the actual dimensions of our product. Our boats are 20 grams, so we will enter 20 in the gross weight field. And the G for gram in the weight unit field. We are going to assume this material doesn't have any packaging, so we will enter 20 in the net weight field as well. That's all the information we need to enter on the basic data one. So we'll press enter. By pressing enter, we are automatically brought into the next view, which is called purchasing tab. In this tab, there's one very important field that is not already filled in, that is purchasing group. 
in this type, this is the purchasing group is a group of buyers responsible for purchasing activity. They're going to be the group responsible for purchasing this specific raw material that we are creating. We'll click the magical button and choose A00. We're complete on the purchasing tab and we press enter again. We're now brought to the plant data storage one tab. This tab has many fields and is related to how the, the material is being stored. The storage conditions field determines the general storage criteria for our raw material. We will choose the match code button. And we'll choose storage condition one. This indicates the general storage is okay. We've now entered all the data we need for this raw material. So we will click save. We are brought back to the create material initial screen. We have success message at the bottom of the screen that says our material boat 2023 has been created. The raw material we've just created is now available for us to purchase from a supplier.